Steve, it's so great to see you today. There are so many exciting things happening at CES 2022. Thanks for having me, Nicole. It's always good to talk to you. Yeah, and you know, I've been thinking a lot about the new ways of working, and I'm just fascinated by the way that companies are adapting so quickly and innovating like never before. Trends like hot desking and desk hoteling are now being used daily, and people really want to continue to work remotely, but also need to have that flexibility to work in the office or in a particular spot in a given day. Can you talk about the trends that Intel is seeing? You know, pre-pandemic, all of us, or some of us, I would say, were mobile workers. If you fast forward now, like post-pandemic, I think we've all come up this learning curve of, of remote or mobile workers. We can work from anywhere. And I think, you know, the um, as more of us are mobile workers, some folks are, are forecasting, like Accenture, one of the major companies that works with mobile workforces, they're forecasting north of 50% of workforces will be hybrid or remote in some way, shape, or form. I think it's going to be even larger than that. You know, people have moved around in the pandemic. Um, people, we've come up a learning curve and we've proven through technology that we can have meaningful conversations, that we can have meaningful work that can get done. You know, people want flexibility. They want flexibility to work from anywhere. Um, companies, I think, you know, our companies, large companies, I think they like the flexibility. In a device as a service world, you can reduce some of your capital cost, and that makes it more even cost efficient for people to be um, remote. And then the experience, I think, like I said, with new hardware, like you said, and new operating systems and new collaboration tools, it's just, it's easier. And, you know, so for Intel, we are actually going to a hybrid first uh, workforce, which is, is pretty impactful. It's a big change for many. Um, I personally got to live through that down in, uh, in South America when I was working at Intel. We chose to go hybrid first. That was a choice we made. And, um, and it's, you know, it's, it's not always smooth. It's a change, right? People have to get used to not having a spot where they come in every day and have necessarily even have a desk. They got to figure out what they're bringing in and you go back to the, the minimalist view. But back on the minimalist view, what you do have is access to everything uh, through technology. And that's where I say I think, you know, we're, culturally, we're going to see a big change and shift, which I think is just opportunities for us. Tools like the one that we're using right now um, and interactions like the ones we're having right now, they're here to stay. And I think it's just going to be uh, more exciting. Oh, I completely agree. And Microsoft is also really embracing this notion of hybrid work. And it's so interesting because you're absolutely right. It requires culture change and innovating tools in order to deliver on the promise that that users need and in terms of our products microsoft is delivering on these the this promise in a couple of really unique ways first of all designing windows 11 to facilitate hybrid work scenarios and be the most secure windows ever continually improving and adapting microsoft teams to facilitate better and more secure collaboration whether you're in the office or at home or wherever and then bringing entirely new products to market like Microsoft Viva, which is an employee experience platform that helps companies navigate the way to empower people and teams to do their best work from anywhere. Now, Intel recently made some 12th gen announcements. Can you talk about those and how it's addressing specifically some of these challenges we're talking about? Absolutely, Nicole. And, you know, collaboration with Microsoft is one of the best in the industry. And, and everything starts with performance for us. We have to deliver the performance to do the jobs from anywhere, anytime, any place. And that starts 12th gen is offering the best of the best again. Um, and, and actually, it's, there's a major architecture change in 12th gen. Um, there's performance cores and hybrid cores, which allow the best of two different worlds that were stretched in these days. You want best performance, but you want optimized battery life. So we actually completely re-engineered the way that we build products to allow people to, to have that best performance, but yet not consume, consume battery life. And we're working with, with you all, with Microsoft, to develop a better workload experiences. Teams, the collaboration, the, the collaboration tool of choice um, we've, we've optimized teams across this hybrid architecture that we have, which is going to enable a better experience. The other two things I'd say, like for a consumer looking for the best experience, we've collaborated on Intel Evo platforms. Intel Evo is that non-compromised experience 
that allows you the best connectivity, the best responsiveness, the best performance, fast charging. Personally, when I'm in an airport now, I click on my 5G wireless WAN and I am immediately connected, downloading, doing a Teams call. And by the way, yes, I am starting to travel again. The other, right, from a, from a security standpoint, Intel Evo vPro platforms are the best of the best. They come with hardware shield, which together with secure core uh, PCs that, that Microsoft is advocating for, it's the best of the best. It's hardware enabled security with your software enabled security on top of it. So I think there's a lot of excitement that we can build on. Oh, tons of excitement. I love the collaboration between our companies. I think Intel's focus on mobility and experiences and security is world class. You know, there's another audience that we talk a lot about, which is gamers. And the market for gaming PCs is booming. Can you talk about how your new technology specifically benefits Windows 11 gamers? Yes, Nicole, you're, you're right. The best experience for any gamer, it's on the PC. They come to the PC because that's where performance is at its best. And 12th gen, our 12th gen processors that we launched like two months ago, the desktop versions had lines of people waiting across the world. DIY, do-it-yourself shops. We have pictures from across the world where people were waiting to buy the best, the ultimate performance. Same thing here in, in, in the United States in retail stores, people waiting to buy. They wanted the best technology they could get. 12th Gen offers that best performance experience. Um, we actually had also three records, uh, three world records broken uh, just last night out of Australia, so to the world. We broke one live on our launch event, but we just had three more broken last night as people overclock. And all of that, what does it mean? It just basically means you can come on and get better frame rates, you can get higher performance play, you can actually unlock gaming experiences as we work with software vendors jointly with you all to open up experiences that you wouldn't have because of the capabilities innate in the hardware. Um, hopefully all that means you know, more wins for the gamers out there. Specifically though on Windows 11, we developed, uh, co-engineered with Microsoft, a, a technology called Intel Thread Director. What this basically means is with the new capabilities in, in Windows, plus Intel's hardware in 12th gen, we're able to unlock what I talked about earlier, hybrid cores, where you have performance cores and efficiency cores and deliver a seamless experience for gamers, the best one out there. It's awesome to hear about these performance enhancements. They speak to the heart of what gamers love. Steve, thank you so much for joining me today. It was great to catch up. My pleasure, Nicole.